What's going on, guys? Are you struggling to handle empty states in your application? Better question, are you even implementing empty states in your application when there's no data to display as we see here? It really adds value to your user experience and your user interface. This could be situations where you have an empty list of data. It could also be situations where you have a searchable list of data and you don't have any results to return. Whatever the case may be, handling empty state in your applications is extremely important and SwiftUI has a built-in solution to handle that for us with content unavailable view. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to implement content unavailable view step-by-step, step, customize it for different use cases, and even share tips for making your empty states more engaging and user-friendly. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. So we are gonna be building out our own little mock example, guys. What we just went over was from the Instagram Pro Plus application that is available on the website at stephancodes.com. If you guys wanna learn how to build a production-ready version of Instagram, the link for that is in the description. You can go ahead and check it out. This is a really, really awesome app that teaches you how to build a lot of really, really cool stuff. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get started with our example. So we're just gonna build a little searchable list. So we're gonna mimic this example first where we are going to search for stuff and nothing's gonna come up. So we're gonna see just how easy this is to implement with content unavailable view. So I'm gonna paste in some data here. So I have a list of fighters. These are a bunch of Street Fighter characters. Shout out if you guys know who those are. And then I have a parameter for my search text. And guys, we are just gonna implement a super straightforward list within a navigation stack that loops through and displays each one of those fighters. And we are going to use this filtered fighters property that is going to allow us to search on those fighters and it's gonna look like this. So we're gonna make sure if the search text is empty, we just return the list of fighters. If it's not, we filter through them um, using this method here uh, to see if the fighter's name contains the search text. And if you guys go ahead and try to search for somebody, you should see that it filters our list accordingly. So super simple example. Now we're gonna go over how to implement the content unavailable view if no search results come back. So guys, it's this simple. We can just create an overlay here and I could say if filtered fighters dot is empty, then I'm gonna say content unavailable view and you guys can say dot search. So this can uh, create a content unavailable view instance that conveys a search state. So we can just say search here and guys, now check this out. If I go ahead and search for somebody and nothing's there, you notice that I automatically get that built-in content unavailable view with that search configuration. So as of right now, this is the only actual like built-in uh, content unavailable view configuration that we have for searching. Otherwise, we have to create our own with our own data, which we'll go over how to do now. So I'm gonna just comment this out, guys, and we're gonna go ahead and create another content unavailable view and you guys will notice we have a couple initialization options. We can use a title and an image or a title image and description. And then we can also use an option that allows us to implement actions in there as well. So if you do, uh, let's go title and system image. We could just say uh, fighters not found. And we could say like person dot slash or something like that. And if I go here and try to search for my fighters, you guys will see that that is what this particular implementation looks like when I pass in this data. I can use system images, which leverages the use of SF symbols, and I can pass in whatever title I want. I believe there's a description option as well. Text component, we could say like, please try again. And guys, you'll notice that now if I search for something, my little description label will come up here. So that's sort of how we can recreate the view that we see here with our own data passed in. So in the next example, guys, we're gonna go over how we can further customize this content unavailable view with custom views and a potential action button linked to it to do things, something like maybe refresh our data or try again. So I'm gonna comment this guy out and we're gonna create yet another content unavailable view but use a different initializer now. So we're gonna to go to this option with label, description, and actions, guys. So I'm just gonna hold down option and click on that. And let's go ahead and hit enter to expand all of these closures. So guys, my label, I could make like a custom V stack and I could just do like image system name and we could do like Wi-Fi dot slash. Let's mimic like no internet connection. And I could say text like no internet and description could be text. Please check your connection and try again. And for my actions, now I can introduce like a button. 
I could say button refresh and we could just go here and say print like refresh here or something, you know? So guys, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. And you'll notice here that now this is completely custom, right? Like I could change the size of my image here. I could say dot image scale is large. I could make it resizable. I could change the size of my text. So if I don't like the styling of this, this shows you how you can implement your own sort of custom content unavailable view. You could make a wrapper around this to have like your own custom component that makes it more reusable as well. And guys, as you saw there as well, we, um, so our, our button, our you know image is a little bigger. Now we have a refresh button here as well that should give us back those print statements. So guys, that is gonna wrap it up for this video. Super awesome feature that makes managing empty state so much easier in our apps now. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys wanna know more about this awesome app that you see here in front of you, Instagram Pro Plus, where we build a full production ready version of Instagram, go ahead and go head over to the website. The link for that is in the description. And in the courses section, you'll be able to find that there. If you guys are serious about launching production ready applications or taking your skills as an iOS developer to the next level, we have something here for everybody. Pro Plus is more for advanced and intermediate developers, but we have these pro app clones that teach you how to build all of these apps from scratch, guys. Tinder, Instagram, Messenger, TikTok, Airbnb, Threads. And then we also have a bunch of awesome fundamentals courses. So we really have something for everybody. Wherever you are in your Swift journey, make sure you guys check out our courses. And um, there's a bunch of free previews on the YouTube channel for that as well, guys. The links for that are in the description. And if you become a member with us, you can get unlimited access to all pro content and app templates for that low cost of less than just a coffee a day, guys. So uh, if you want to get thousands of dollars worth of material for just a low monthly cost, go ahead and check out our memberships as well. So thanks for watching this one, guys. Once again, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.